So why are we taking a little intermission from the Bali video? Well, I haven't seen many of you lately and I know what you're thinking. When's that series going to finish, Christine? I just want to go back to your five minute videos where you pay people out. I know you better than you think I know you. I'm like your mother. That being the case, I listened to your inner thoughts and decided, you know what, let's take a break. I feel you too, because those videos are hard to edit. So here's, here's a quick one. Today, we're gonna be talking about the rules on the aircraft. I'm gonna give you an explanation as to the background of these rules. When it comes to safety procedures and things like that, the key goal is to get everyone evacuated out of the aircraft in 90 seconds, irrespective of the aircraft type and irrespective of how full the aircraft is. Number one, bags under the seats or always in the hat rack. Sometimes you get the flight attendant and they're like, yes, under the seat in front of you, please. And you're like, uh, it's already under the seat in front of me. Well, preferably it's completely under. In the event of an emergency and everyone's like unbuckling their seat belts, rushing to the front. Uh, these bags are just an obstruction to the passageways. We can't be like, yeah, no, that's fine. Just leave your bags there at the exit row or just, yeah, that's fine. Wherever there's space, just leave your bags there. And then all of a sudden there's an emergency. Open seat belts. Come on, come this way. Oh, hang on, wait. Hang on. There's, um, there's a bunch of bags here. Just one moment. Um, let's all together as a team, let's take these bags and let's put them on the seats or maybe let's put them in the ha Oh shit, we're dead. Okay, number two, during takeoff and landing, you're always asked to put your windows up. I know how it feels when it's like um, reaching the peak of sunrise and you're trying to have a sleep and you're like asleep and your window's closed and then someone comes up like, excuse me, put your window blinds up. And it's like a bit annoying because you're like, why? The reason is this, for the most part, the flight attendants are walking around. Our eye level is completely different from yours. Your windows are at your eye level which means that you can see everything that's going on outside. So while you're there looking at the beautiful scenery, you're actually the best tool. <laughs> He's a tool, she's a tool, I'm a tool. I didn't mean that we're all tools. You are the best person to see what else is going on outside. Being that takeoff and landing are the most critical phases of the flight, you are pretty much the ears and the eyes of the pilot who is busy focusing on just getting there, landing and parking, and the flight attendants who are sitting at the back to watch all of you naughty people. Okay, number three. When it's a night flight or it's dark outside, why do we dim the lights on the inside of the cabin? It's so that your eyes can adjust to the darkness. Try the experiment. Go into a dark room, not a pitch black room, but a room that has very little light in it. Come from a room with light and go into the dark room. Don't get too creative with what you're gonna do with yourself in that dark room. Just sit in there and just take notice of how long it takes your eyes to adjust to the darkness. Give that a shot. Number four, armrests down. I know that sometimes an armrest, you put it up and it feels like it's stuck there forever. Thing is, if it has the ability to be in motion uh, at a moment of impact or if it's a very rough landing, which let's not rule out the possibilities, that will just fall. Douche. Guess on where? limbs or even worse if someone's sleeping there with their head there on their head on their nugget okay, and then number five why do we put our seat backs upright a little bit of recline maybe a little bit more maybe to the maximum that actually affects the person behind you in the event of an emergency they're going to want to get out as much as you can if you don't like them that much then recline as much as you want this isn't about doing the things that you want to do to people that you don't like okay <laughs> bring your seat forward so that the person behind you doesn't have a hard time getting out when there's an emergency because ain't nobody got time for like excuse me uh i, I can't get out uh, uh i can't no 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 nobody wants to do that and you also don't want to be responsible for that well, seat belts are pretty self-explanatory right anybody have any questions on the seat belt part so i hope the series has helped understand some of those rules on the fly that kind of like a little bit weird or sound a bit weird or you're like why are they doing that why are they make me do this hope that helps if you have any comments or questions please pop them in the comment section down below if you like this video please give it a one of these thumbs up shoot me a like if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do for those of you who haven't seen my bali videos um well i'd say they're pretty good especially if you've been waiting for me 
to do something like travel hacks video or how to plan or what cabin crew do on a layover. The way that I travel these days actually comes from the way I used to travel as cabin crew so I think it's a pretty good insight. Also it is a little bit different from the other travel vlogs that I've seen out there. I found even when I was a new traveler and even now that I have been traveling for a while, information is key. I put as much information as I can possibly put in there so that if you go oh that place looks really nice you've got the address in there you've got the area there you'll know how to get there and that sort of thing so yeah go check them out the the tips and the hacks are actually embedded in the actual video if you're only going to hop into the Bali video after this um, particular one leave me a comment just so that I know your thoughts or maybe what it was that you were hesitating to check it out for that'd be awesome always a pleasure never a chore I'll see you guys next week okay so today's episode is what's the title I don't know sometimes you're like why should I open this window blind I don't think I'm gonna die if I don't well maybe you will um what else that's it bye